This rocket stove setup is pretty much a rough and ready campsite farm model made out of mostly recycled material. But this can be made very pretty. This can fit inside a house. This burn chamber could be made in, could be lined in marble. This could be a very beautiful system. And if you learn to light it the right way, there doesn't need to be any smoke inside the house. And you get this almost free or a very small amount of fire and produce a very large amount of hot water. These can be made to look very, very attractive. I'm going to explain the rocket stove mass hot water heater and simplify it a little bit. So what we've got is a stainless steel center from an electrical hot water system. And if you find the right one, often the electricity part is broken and that's why it's been thrown away, but the tank is fine. And it'll have an input pipe going into it and an output pipe going out of it. If it hasn't, then you've got to fit those. Now, attached to those fittings, you need to be able to thread in a coil of copper pipe. And this is the water you're going to be using for hot water showering. And that goes out to your shower and end use. So this will go out to your shower and your hot water system, to your taps. And this is the water input. Now this is water coming in. The water comes in, goes through the pipe running through the middle of the system and out the other end. And by the time it comes out here, it's actually hot water. And then goes out as hot water wherever you pipe it off from there. So this tank needs to be full of water itself. This is a different water. This is not the water you're showering in. This is just the mass inside the tank that we're going to get hot. And as that water gets hot, the water passing through it picks up that heat in the copper pipe, because copper transfers heat so well. And it's your standard hot water pipe and then gets heated on the way through this long coil inside the hot water. So we also need a pipe going into that water itself to top that water up. So we need an input pipe for mass water. Then we also need another pipe at the top and that's just to blow water off if it steams. So you could call that the steam outlet. Otherwise it gets dangerous. This thing can explode. It, it's a very expansive process turning water into steam causes enormous explosions. So you must have this. This is uh, steam outlet and that's that's the working mechanism in the middle that's the stainless steel tank now to capture that we need to put that inside another tank they have a 44 gallon drum so we've got this mounted inside a 44 gallon drum and a rocket stove then chimney coming up to that and that is a standard rocket stove system with a small and short burn chamber here 
and then a, three times the length of the burn chamber in chimney. So this now we've got mud bricked and the one you can see in the film here is mud bricked around. We put our fuel wood in here so this is burn chamber Our fire is lit in here and is drafted this way. So once we get this process, once we get the burn started and we fan the flames this way, the draft starts and pulls the heat up the chimney. Now the chimney connects to the 44 gallon drum and inside the 44 gallon drum there is the stainless steel tank full of water with the copper pipe not connected to that water but with water passing through it picking up the heat of the mass water so now that hot air rises goes over the tank comes round goes over the tank again comes round goes over the tank again and over the tank again and eventually in our case comes out of a chimney at the other end by the time it comes out here, it's simply hot air with very little smoke. If we're going well and we know our fuel, no smoke. It's already gone past the smoke stage. It's burnt everything off. Now that chimney could be extended out through a wall, it could go out up the side of a house, it doesn't have to be the way we've got it set up. We've got it set up so everybody can see how it works. Now, we go one layer on from this, you've got to go a little bit further now, because the reason this is burning here at 800 degrees centigrade, up to 1000 degrees centigrade here, and only coming out as hot air here, is the, hot, the energy of the heat has been taken by the mass of water in the stainless steel tank. And to capture that inside the system, we've got to have another layer. So we have another layer going over this, which is what you can see on the outside, which is our corrugated iron cover. And that's covering the whole system. And in between that and the 44 gallon drum, or what you call in metric, a 200 litre drum, there is standard fireproof insulation. This means the heat doesn't lose out to the outside through the outer drum. The heat is captured inside and goes inward. So there's very little heat loss going outwards because the insulation between the 44 gallon drum, 200 litre drum, and the outside corrugated iron cover, because we've got a thick layer of insulation. And the air gap on the inside is where the smoke with the 800 to 1000 degree centigrade chimney from the rocket stove is passing round the inside of the drum and the outside of the stainless steel water tank with the copper pipe inside that. So there's sets of layers here. So this water inside starts to get hot. It gets hot and passes the heat into the copper pipe, which goes through and gives you that hot water. So if you get good at this, and there's no reason why you wouldn't be good at this in your own home, in your own system, you get to know your fuel, you get to know the size of the sticks. It's always sticks or large surface area fuel, sticks, fir cones, pine cones, those sort of things. They get up to high temperature here. So we've got 800 centigrade to 1000 degrees centigrade here, transferred into the mass water because coming out it's hot air at the end. Inside that hot water, it could be steaming hot actually, it can actually boil. That's why we've got to have the blow-off valve, safety feature, got to have that steam outlet. And we've got to be able to top it up because if we boil the kettle too much, we know we boil it dry. You can boil this tank dry if you keep going. Top it up, heat it up, 
you've got hot water for a very, very efficient small amount of fuel. Okay, I'm going to light our rocket stove here. Hopefully just with one single match. Got a little bit of twig fuel. Once I get it drawing, now it's already drawing in the direction of the rocket. It'll start to very quickly draft. Not this way, but out this way. And I can see we're already firing. I can hear the rocket now. Here's a great source of fuel. A lot of people have pine cones. Um, they really catch fire quick. Um, they come in convenient sized packages and I can, quick, I can hear it quickly roaring away here. I can stack this up with pine cones and it'll give us a fast heat into the system. Here's our chimney, here is our burn chamber with our pine cones and there's hot air coming out of here but no smoke. There's hardly any smoke. So they're burning down there and there's almost a clean burn off by the time it goes round the stainless steel drum, inside the 44 gallon drum, inside the insulation. And here, just about a clean burn. Our blow off valve here is where the hot water in surplus is coming out and some steam. And when we want to top up our hot water thermal mass, because it will burn off, it will steam off a certain amount of water just to keep it topped up, we can open up here and make sure that our drum is full. And you can see that water is nearly boiling there. That's just the top up. That's not the shower. That's not the hot water in the bathroom. Let's have a look at that hot water in the bathroom because that's where we get to use it at the other end. The pipes are insulated on the way through to the bathrooms to retain the heat. And that's where we get to use it. Here we go. Here's our outside tap. Turn on the hot water. And there we go. Steaming hot water. That's hot. Just from that lighting of the rocket stove. 